A major break in a brutal murder, a suspect behind bars tonight. WWT 6 News is there as he makes his first appearance in court. Good evening, I'm John Nicely. Mallory is on assignment. Happening locally live at 5, there may be justice in a murder case that dates back nine years. We told you Friday, Omaha police arrested a man they say is a killer. Charles Zimmer is 33. Today, a judge set a steep bond for him. Our Lena Tillet was there and continues our coverage live. Lena. John, Charles Simmer was arrested on Friday for the 2007 murder of Joy Blanchard. And at an arraignment today, a judge set his bond at $10 million. For the first time, the state painted a disturbing picture of how Joy Blanchard was murdered nine years ago. They say Blanchard was found dead in her home with two knives in her neck and blunt force trauma to her head. The man they believe is responsible, Charles Simmer, is her nephew. And Douglas County Attorney Don Klein says he'd been suspected by family and police for years. He had certainly been looked at. He was a person of interest for a long time on this case. And uh, we finally... It was worked enough that we were able to, to glean enough evidence to charge him. Klein says they stayed in contact with Blanchard's family over the years, giving them any new developments in the case. But it wasn't until recently when police got crucial DNA evidence linking Simmer to the murder. It was assigned to the cold case unit, and they've done a tremendous amount of work. Uh, there was some additional funding that allowed us to, uh, allowed the police department to do some uh, extra or, or more DNA testing of certain items of evidence. With the new grant, the state says the cold case unit recently tested DNA on the interior doorknob of the home. The results showed a mixture of Simmers and Blanchard's DNA. The state also says DNA evidence was found on one knife and a spindle from her banister, which is what they believe was used to hit her head. They say that DNA, called YSTR, matches Simmers' male family line. Klein credits OPD's hard work for this break that finally brought some answers to the family. I know it's been very frustrating for them to have to wait this long. Now, as far as, far as a motive, Klein wouldn't go into detail, but he did say that Simmer lived with Blanchard for some time and then that she kicked him out of her house. He said that more will be revealed in the coming months. With photographer Mike Plews, Lena Tillette, WOWT 6 News. All right, thanks, Lena. We'll continue to track that story.